Yo, what's good people? Gonna keep it quiet for this one because it's uh, getting a little later over here. But we just finished our listen through song by song commentary of Havoc's debut LP entitled, uh, let me re clarify, it's entitled Burn. We've got 12 tracks on this record. We've just listened to them all. They're all lengthy tunes at over four minutes for the most part. I'd say we're averaging at around four minutes a track if not a little bit longer. Um, it was refreshing. When I first got into this record, I was very impressed. I was very thrilled to hear it fulfill everything. Uh, my, you know, younger teenage self uh, would have loved as far as thrash metal is concerned. It's very metal. Um, the production value is very clean and clear. The uh, guitar tones and so forth are very nice, very clunky, very um, tight playing. Overt distortion on the guitars, yet incredibly tight playing, especially what come through during, you know, like gallop patterns and like precise, intricate uh, pedal note, uh, e-chug patterns and so forth, which makes me think there might have been a... Uh, you know, a, uh, a noise gate utilised in the playing of them guitars because they were just incredibly tight. So that's the positive. I was very, very, very entertained. Um, all of the riffs were exactly something I would love to hear in a metal band, especially a thrash metal band. My entryway to, you know, more intense forms of music was via thrash metal. And this ticked all of the boxes and excited my inner child. Because thrash is something you feel you'll never get bored of uh, until you hear so many thrash bands and then you just realise there is a, you know, a boundary placed around the genre. And once you've heard it, it's very hard to find a band that excels and can really, you know, keep you entertained after the years have gone by. This broke that pattern, uh, mainly down to the, uh, you know, the technicality, I would say, of the playing. Not so much that it was a tech band, uh, genre-wise, but the riffs were very uh, high intensity, high tempo, and concentrated in a manner which you could tell it was a showcase of technical capability without really taking it up to 100%. We were staying within 80% of what they were really capable of because we could probably just shred on the fretboard 24 hours a day um, given we could play guitar like these dudes. I mean, speaking in regards to myself at least. Now, on the flip side, that's also what became quite monotonous for, for me because we did have shred solos. Uh, so I was speaking then in regards to the rhythm guitars now we're going to speak on the lead guitars, just trade over shred solos, every single song. And it's impressive first time around, second time around. But economically speaking, you know, there was too much volume. It got boring, monotonous. I, I, I'm not a fan of shred guitar. I'm not a fan of guitar solos for the most part. Uh, unless it's something very tasty and there wasn't much taste involved with these guitars. It was just, you know, it was more fruitful and theoretic than some that you'd hear from Kerry King and so forth. But it was just completely egocentric wank a lot of the time. 12 tunes was too many tunes. As I said, I gave it the highest praise. My experience listening to this record was way more fun at the start of this record than the majority of bands I've listened to on this channel. By the time we got to like track six, the novelty had worn off. It started to become very long-winded because the consistency and the level was at such a great standard for such a long time. There was no def differentiation or approach uh, you know, you'll just hear the same band with the same production playing a different riff and there wasn't any 
strict sort of change of perspective or idea on the song or on the piece, which, you know, is death metal, it is thrash metal, it is black metal, it is most of that. It's what separates the leading top tier bands to fantastic great bands. And this fulfills the fantastic great band category because they haven't adapted uh, or adopted the, um, you know, great insightful customer first perspective of some of the songwriting greats on their field. And when it comes to metal, there's not too many of them, but they're not writing songs like Metallica. That, that to me is the pinnacle, you know. Even when it comes to Slipknot, they tend to stay in more so a particular space. But they do know how to write a great sing-along song. They do know how to write a pop-structured song at time. And I'm not asking that from Havoc. And I'm sure they do go on to that at some point. But just regarding their debut LP on this one, they haven't really gone out of their way to construct something of uh, structural value um, or... Uh, differentiate the sound or idea or conceptual matter um, you know sonically speaking soundscape speaking song structure speaking it, it was just very consistent so by track six it became a bit of a drag it became a bit too intense and I got bored of it I did get bored of it I knew nothing new was coming up I knew we're gonna hear great riffs we're gonna hear fantastic drumming we're going to hear blazing great vocal line. We're going to hear more shred than ever before. And I wasn't looking forward to it. I just was not looking forward to it. It got very boring and monotonous. I, myself personally, have learnt from the greats when developing this channel, King of the Pit TV. I've started to see a pattern with some of the best records of all time they all have seven eight nine tunes they don't overstay their welcome they concentrate their energy in what matters and then they're out of here they don't overstay their welcome this record is an, an example of overstaying your welcome i'm going to rate this record six out of ten if this record had less the nine tracks and they highlighted the more you know the better tracks I'd very easily give it a 7.5 but you're losing out because it's just too long-winded the guitar shred is overkill none of the guitar solos mean anything because we've got five of them in each and every track it's just another another day in the office it, it, it doesn't mean anything that they're, they're too watered down because of how frequent they are vocal wise pretty cool um the vocal performance is good i personally like the vocal performance uh, i know it's subjective you know some might dislike that and i can see why but i i really appreciate the vocal i think it's the great it's 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 not too soft and it's not overtly harsh and i appreciate that and with that i'm signing up Peace.